Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. We're sitting here watching our Ulfin because you know, I'm going to have an episode of Deja Vu. I already recorded Day 47 and then looked over and noticed that I wasn't recording. But last time at 5 a.m., that notice popped up <laughs> and that little critter came walking out. So <laughs> I just knew it was going to happen. <laughs> to what extent anything else repeats exactly as it happened, I don't know. So I will not give away any surprises. But Omiar has brought back some ore that Carter had started to work on last time. It's, it's what, 5 in the morning and, and somebody's up. I hear a didgeridoo playing. Otherwise, I've got them all assigned to do a few things. I think Rita's going to get up and do a little bit of cooking, just to make sure we get some cooking done. She's pretty well focused on planting right now. Edmund's going to go and get these two turrets up and running, then he's going to work on the battery. Carter is going to... Oh, what was he going to do? I don't remember, so he'll be a surprise. Simon's going to get something to eat, then take off and get some carbon nanotubes. Yeah, and I don't know what else. Oh, here we are. I'm going to have him do some uh, butchering once he gets something to eat. Yeah, he's going to go sit for a while. So when they've got to do something like eat or or relax, you know, here we are. He's got to work on actually actually rest. Okay, here we are. Never finished his sleep. Interesting. Okay, well, Umiar, let's um, let's change your plan and just send you to bed. Okay, you do that, and yeah. So when you're done with that, you can maybe butcher some some humming flies. Maybe these guys over here. I'll give you something to do. Anyway. That plan didn't quite work out. Simon, is, are you still up and running? Yeah, you'll be transporting right after this. Yeah. Carter, mining, and then 13 more. I think, oh, he's going to go do the mining. That's right. Carter's going to be out over here. And then he's going to be working on humming flies. But Edmund is building our last two missile turrets. And that should, I think, round out our defenses. I think so. Hmm. Guess we'll have to wait and see. Is there anything we haven't built in that regard? So flamethrower, automatic turrets, or machine gun, missile launcher, and we haven't built a laser turret. Huh. Where and why? If we set it in here, it might cause them, especially if they come from this direction, just to skip the uh, gauntlet completely and try and bust down this wall. So I need them to come wrap around the corner. It could maybe sit right in the middle here and just assist us as we're shooting. Huh. Kind of like that idea. Okay. So a laser turret takes a CPU and 50 alloy. Not outdoors. It can't be under a roof. Yeah. Okay. Well... Would it be strange to put it right down here? I suppose that's possible. Uh, concrete floor, let's build another one of you, but take you down. What's pretty much centered? I guess that's close enough. Z takes you down. Um, I guess it can be the same height. This isn't under a roof. So I can do that and then grab turret, defense, turret, defense, what am I doing wrong here? I'm not... Oh, there. I didn't see this part. Laser. Yeah, you can go there. Okay. We'll build that as well. Just so we can see it happen. Though, I didn't notice a power wire. We don't have power to this area. We don't. Um, pull. Copy. Okay, there's the wire on the ground. That's as close as we can get. That's kind of obnoxious. Can we get it from behind somehow? Um, zooming in here. What am I missing out there? 
Is there a... See, I'm not seeing the, the power wire like I can here on the ground. I can still reach it right there. Okay. Now I can't see above. And we can grab power over there. Okay, that does kind of block our aim a little bit right there, though. But it will here as well. Hmm. It needs to be behind. I just can't prove I'm connecting to it. Are we running? We are. So what's up, what all's been going on here? Simon's on his way back with 130. Good. Which means he didn't just bring back enough to do, you know, three or four f set, uh, fence sections. Uh, Carter is eating. Did he get done here? And he bring it? He didn't bring it in. Carter, what is this? When you hunt, you bring the meat in. When you mine, you bring the ore in. You should know better. Um, Rita's finishing up the two roots. Simon, Edmund, battery. Okay, let me are. You're sleeping still. Let's call your sleep done. You're already at noon. You got enough sleep to make it through the day. So in that case, let's just have you haul in the rest of that ore. And we'll do it intentionally instead of by accident right in the middle of some attack coming up. And we can turn that notice off. So that is everybody figured out. I need to see if it's possible to... Let's get rid of... Yeah, that won't work either. What is that power wire right there? That I'd like to know. That... I mean, is that possibly it? Laser turret cancel. Defense turrets laser. Okay, there's the power wire. I see it to there, then it goes away. Is it plugged in because it's on a floor and the floors are all connected already? That might be possible. Let's build it first. And then we'll worry about powering it later. It's possible this is treated like a house. There aren't power wires running all through this house. There's one wire that feeds the house and everything within side is powered so you don't see power wires coming out of these benches and such did you get turned off you did not so waiting to be turned off rita why don't you turn that off please thank you anything else in here that's no longer needed we already have the research bench off we don't really need these we just did it just to see it happen eh. yeah let's well it's only two power. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that then. Alright, so I'm hearing a lot of slurping, gutting noises. Edmund is as well. Okay. And let's see. Simon is just getting back. It's 1500 already. Mm, I don't think he's going to make it up the mountain back. I think it's got to be a, a job for tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, so he'll find something to handle in here. Uh, so Rita's back out to do more of that. And that is doable. We're still 35 meals. Okay. Uh, Umiar is handling furnaces and getting some food. Okay. Uh, there's bread in the oven. Fresh bread out of the oven. Oh, that sounds good right now. So Edmund is doing that right next to Carter. Yeah, we're... We're doing fine. Okay, so... What else? No more trips needed. We, d we have enough CPUs, so... We have enough weapons. So we don't need to make any trips to any of those permanent places. Don't need to scavenge any spaceships. We've got that right here if we want to do that. So I'd say no more expeditions for a while. More Olfens. Oh, joy. <laughs> well, let's check our new missile launchers. You guys are probably all going to wander in about here. Um, that one is that one. So right there. Uh, target. 
and I'd say something like that. And then who's the circle right over here? Keep I keep losing those things. You, you. All right, you can join the uh, the foray right over there. Okay, so we will once again begin our uh, slow motion attack here soon. So how many of you were? saw the title a couple episodes back of the attack that took three days and wonder what that was about until you saw that it was these guys taking three days to, to make it in. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes it's kind of hard to uh, figure out what to, what to title these episodes. Alright, so everybody's staying home. Simon, transporting, Edmund and Carter bringing in meats, Umiar is handling furnaces, and we're about to trigger this guy. A couple more footsteps. There it is. Now, something I'd, I've never taken the time to notice. These guys are on circuit four. These guys turn off circuit four. This should be out of power. How quick does that actually happen? It's not something that actually has to be triggered, right? Because we're still running. Simon's fleeing. Okay. So it's still consuming. <clears throat> Does that not work? I mean, I understand the concept and I fully expected that to work, but we're still running. You're also on circuit four. And you're still consuming a hundred. I don't get that. I'll leave that on in the background just so we can we can see this work. Looks like our our defense system is going to do the whole job. Nobody's going back behind. Well, you are. I may have to go deal with you personally. Yeah. So, what are you planning on doing? You're going to attack right here. Okay. So, Carter, why don't you draft and just take him out. You can do it from right there. Okay. And yeah, I want you to go ahead and assist while you're here. Need for days. We have one little one here. Probably doesn't want anything to do with this, but he's just copying the big ones. Yeah. Too bad. Need to see that. Okay, we're done, except Carter can't see him. So Carter, unfortunately, go ahead and take this guy. Can you get him from there? You cannot, there you go. All right, so you're just hunting. We'll, we'll, we'll just ward it that way. All right, so you guys are Butcher, Carter. I think you're done, yeah. So Carter, Undraft, and all the rest of these guys that haven't triggered already. That's Butcher. And I guess for now we'll set Carter back to Hunt. You guys are still on Hunt. Let's put Umiar on Hunt as well. And he can help out. Alrighty. So Carter, you went in to relax instead of bringing that meat in. So Umiar, maybe he'll uh, get that task next. Handling Furnace. Why don't you grab that task like right now? Thank you. <laughs> All right, so what's up here? Simon, there's Edmund, constructing a floor. See, what was that noise? Oh, that was a bone picker or something flying in. There you are. Yeah. Those are quite the bird. Can't get any closer. Wish I could zoom in closer. There's a lot of detail in these, uh, in these graphics. Would be nice to... Although you're a little invisible right now. You really are. I think you've, uh... Yeah, I think you got a problem there, Rude. And Pankoth. Okay, so Edmund is constructing. And Umiar is hauling in meats. Rita is still planting. She's getting something to eat. Sitting with Carter. We don't get to, to see this very often anymore. Somebody's playing a video game. Simon. 
Mmm. Yeah. Fresh baked bread. Okay, no conversations, huh? Nope. Nope. Want nothing to do with each other. Rita, that's only a negative seven. And she doesn't regard uh, Carter at all. <laughs> okay. So, planting. And still constructing. Oh, he's got the turret. What happened to? So we'll find out here soon if it gets powered. But I don't know what to make of these other ones. Have I got this wrong? The in, the active circuit is three. The inactive. Connect this device to another control circuit. That doesn't tell me anything. But circuit four is turned on. Right. Right. Okay. Circuit 3 is, should be turned off at this time. So it's saying of these two, we're running on circuit 4 right now. But when these had turned on, we would have been running on 3. And these should have all turned off. But right now, they are finding their target. Uh-huh. Right up there somewhere. Okay, who's in the area? Who gets the honors this time? Simon, sleepyhead. Come on over here and ask these folks what, uh, uh, what's up? <laughs> Rita's going to sleep. So is Prince. I've, I've had a long day. Real busy. Lots to do. I'm, I'm tired. Okay, Olfans are heading toward bed. Yep. All right. Ooh, rescue pod. So, Umiar, you've got to ride home soon. You do. In fact, that should be coming in here real quick. All right. I'm hanging here. There. Yeah. Looks like Sp SpaceX Dragon module. 24 hours. Omiyar gets to go home. So he got to go on his uh, hot air balloon ride last time. So we got one more adventure before he left. Otherwise, he can help bring in all this meat tomorrow. And then he'll take off tomorrow night. Right before we end the episode. So right before midnight. Okay. Carter sleeping. Everyone's sleeping. Edmund's grabbing a meal. Then he'll be sleeping. And I think that's it for this day. Yeah, I think we're kind of wrapping up and waiting for tomorrow. Well, Carter's up and thinking about getting some things done over there. New Year's Eve just popped in. Oh, Carter. One year ends, another one begins. We do not know what tomorrow will bring, but the turn of the time does give hope. We can gather and celebrate New Year's Eve tonight at 12.30. All right, 2300, 11 p.m. Um, cheer, yep, go ahead on that one, which means I need to make sure that Simon gets back in time. He's got a long trip ahead of him. So Simon, you need to grab Boy, meat pie would be wonderful, but I don't know if any of it's ever been made. Uh, so hard to see the whole list there. Eat meat pie in queue. He's already got it figured out. Okay, so Simon, as soon as you're done with that, you are off past the rocks, past these rocks to here. And... Yeah. Oh, I've turned these off. Okay. Let's come and grab as many of these as you can. Nope. Right now. Oh, you just jumped into another job on me. Okay. So you're going to go do that. And Carter is butchering. Edmund is constructing a turret. Umiar is getting something to eat. Then he'll probably drop into butchering too. Unpower device, a laser turret. Okay. Well, that's what I needed to know. So it doesn't draw power from this house, you know, this structure. So what does this cord go to? It goes through 
the landing pad and into here. I guess out here it's not part of the house because it's not under the roof. And then it goes from there into there. Yeah, I'd say this is definitely powered. I can probably put a light in here and it would show up. Or it would, it would turn on. Huh. Okay, well, where do we want our view blocked? I could try one more time to put a pole behind. Does it fit in that space? Um, consumers, producers, switches. I've never noticed these before. Anyway, can I put... I can put one in here. I just don't... Okay, there's the little power cord. Couldn't see that before when it was all blueprint. Okay, we still have it there. And we have it there. Any advantage... These guys rotate? <laughs> okay. I think it's there. I think that's what I want. With that, this thing should be powered. Okay, so I need someone to... Edmund, why don't you dive into that real quick. Got wood just sitting around over there, so it won't take you long at all. Okay, so Simon's off on his trip. Omiar is eating... And let's see if he dives into hunting. Butchering. Yep, perfect. Power pole. Rita, where are you at? Here you are. I'm going to get the beef berries going. Otherwise, there aren't a lot of other projects left to do. There really aren't. There's not much more to construct. I think we've got a pretty trustworthy defense system here now. I think so. Power is pretty much there. Except I can't trust the power switching system. It's not turning them off when it should be. That's 200 draw that I would love to take off the system when I've got to fire all these guys up. Especially after, you know, after a, oh, a winless, um, um, what do you call the event? Uh, where, the, where the sun turns off. Yeah, solar eclipse. And no wind, and the batteries have gone down to two pips. And then we get an attack. I wouldn't want to try to be powering these guys as well. So that's a little frustrating that they didn't work. Is it because there are multiple sensors on the circuit? You know, there's, we're using three of these. Are they all turn on, turn off? Okay, now what does that mean? Task the survivors to turn on this. Oh, no, 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 never mind. This particular one isn't being used. This one is. So that wasn't it. Okay. So if I pulled you out of the... No. But did you and you and you. All right, that right there. Okay, so that's not it. Just the sound of butchering noises all over the place. Rain's coming in, not snow. Okay, plants are gonna grow well. Now, it'd be nice if the red, the blood, started to melt away and wash away and clean up because of the rain. That would be a nice uh, feature of realism there. Lumiar is transporting meats, so he got the rest of the bug meats done. Okay. So, Edmund, what are you up to? You are going to finish the fence line. So, your construction must be set higher than your hunting. Man, that's fine. That's fine. That way we're we're still covering all of our bases. We are blowing like crazy. Well, still just 20 of 40. So not that kind of a storm. Just a, just wetness. You are now going to butcher humming flies. Let's get you instead to start butchering these guys. And get those done sooner than, than later. Okay. We can do without the one, two... Well, there's actually a few. Let's unbutcher you guys. 
That one just disappeared. There was one there. Okay. Any meats left? No. Okay. So you guys are not assigned to butcher. And we'll leave it that way. Um. Oh. Carter hauled in all the leather. Let me guess. Yep. He did. <laughs> leave the leather alone. Bring in the meats. Okay, good. I was going to say, come on over here. But yeah, looks like he, he figured it out. Good. Okay. Um, so there's a, probably a lot of leather sitting in here now. Does it tell me? There's 54 hides. 100 hides. Because each time they butcher something in that, that vicinity, it adds to a pile that's been forbidden. So it just keeps building up the forbidden pile. Uh, you are butchering the orphans that have not been assigned yet. Any more out here? Still got this guy, but he's been... You well, know, he still gets... well, some. Carter didn't get it all. Okay. Um... Umiar, when you're done... Edmund Umiar, okay. So let's make sure you haul meats from that side. Did I get the right one? I think I did, yeah. Okay. I thought I saw Hall Hides when it flashed at me. So, 10 hours left. Oh. Bumiar is not really going to get to see the New Year's Eve celebration. I guess we're going to do this a little differently. Simon did get. I was, I was worried he didn't get enough, but that's probably all he can carry is 120. Yeah. Um, that's here. Uh, where is... I'm, I'm lost. Nope, that's not it. Oh, there it is, right there. So, here's the ore. So we got all of these. That's silicon, or that's a, uh, stone. Stone. Okay, I think he got it all from here. Yeah, good. So Rita's got a cold. Rain, celebration of 2300. Simon, 1800. I think you're going to be just fine. Rita's out here in the rain, though her armor has a really good rating as far as temperature goes, so it's not like she's freezing right now. Um, Omayar is transporting the last of his work. He's going to be coming in hungry, but he is picking up meats. And he's almost done because he can only carry so much. Yep, he's at his max. And he's going to grab a meal. Umiar liked bread the most, so... But there may not be any left. Okay, not there. Uh, click away. Here? Here we are. Breads. Nope. Oh, I can only cook bread. So, you get... Looks like you get meat soup. No other fancy meals sitting on a shelf? No, there really isn't. What are you? You are veggie soup. Sure, we'll go that route. When you come in, grab some veggie soup, and then we're going to send you on your way. And I guess the fireworks will be for you. <laughs> yeah. Kind of a bummer of the timing. It lands at the same time. Hmm. 2300 is when I need to send him off. And that's when the fireworks start. So... That can go away. That can go away. These two are still happening. Alright. Simon, you're there. Perfect. That's all you have on your list, and you're going to grab some food. Whatever food you want. So we are just grabbing a meal. Maybe we'll send him out one hour early. So at 22, 
hundred as soon as he finishes his meal, I guess. So what does that mean? Well, Rita's in here. Carter's out there petting an olfin. Okay. So we're all in the right area. So we're basically done. Okay. So Carter, why don't you draft and come out here? And something I forgot about last time, or last couple times, I can tell Prince to to uh, draft and come out here too. So Prince can come and say goodbye as well. Prince, you go there. Rita, why don't you draft and come out over here? And Simon, you're starving. Your your happiness is still great though. You'll make it. Come on over here, Edmund. You, you say I I just sat down to eat, man. Okay. So, Umir, you are transporting. We'll stop you in just a second. Okay, so Edmund, you're going to draft. Come on out over here. And Umir is transporting what? Meats. Okay. Well, is that everybody? That's everybody. Alright, so Umir, unfortunately, I didn't think of dropping your, your uh, guns out there, so we'll have to do it right here. Here. Actually, let's draft you and bring you in over here. We'll get somebody else to bring it in. You come on over here. And then undraft and let's... Um, yeah. So click on you and say nothing. Click on you and say nothing. And yeah, you can bring your good luck charm with you. Yeah. Give you a safe trip home. Okay, so with that, you are on your way. All right, farewell, fellow survivors. Let you guys clean up this mess. We are as unarmed. Carter, scoot in a little bit. And off we go. There's a picture. Okay, New Year's Eve. Who gets to use the stun gun now? I think that's a Simon thing. Yeah. Okay. Simon, all of you guys undraft. Simon, you are going to equip the pulse gun. Carter needs a spear. Equip the spear. Actually, do it right here now. Okay. Otherwise, so equipping and equipping. Otherwise, everybody else... Go do whatever you need to do, getting ready for the celebration. Uh, unfortunately, Simon's going to bring his old weapon back and put it away. I don't think there's any way around that, other than just Simon draft and undraft you as soon as you get inside. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Rainy night. Can't light the place on fire this way. And Simon's grabbing something to eat. So I guess he's uh, he's chosen his celebration. Yeah, maybe once he finished. That's right, he had no food at all. He was starving. Discuss their good meal with Rita. That was Carter. Okay. And when we roll over to midnight, you guys are going to start launching fireworks? With the balloons and the moon off in the distance? Ah, and you're going to fire them right through the roof, aren't you? see how that works <laughs> oh it's raining out spaceship detected already what well they'll have to wait for a little bit because we are thinking really hard about celebrating um are we waiting for simon what's going on here simon's gonna launch him in the living room <laughs> Simon, come on out here. Dude, join in with the fun. Alright, so you're over here. Yep, Carter's waving him in. He's going to celebrate New Year's. I bet you they were waiting for him. No, I think they're... Uh, they're a little disappointed that it's raining on their New Year's Eve, and that's as good as it gets. Yep. We have till this bar goes away. So we don't have to do anything yet, but 
Or, or is it that they're all under a roof? I really wonder. Let's send them all out to here and see what they do when they're not under a roof. Oh, they're angry. They're soaking wet. Two of them are going to stay out. No, there's a roof under here. They all went to places with roofs. Wow. Okay. Because there's a roof here too, right? Yeah, there's a roof there. Okay. They don't like the rain. Okay. Who is this one? Simon? Um, ah, you've had quite a day. Who's in the best shape? Actually, none of them are. We'll wait till the celebration is officially done, which just happened. Uh, Simon, you are going to sleep. Simon, you can have the honor of contacting the spaceship. And we'll see uh, see what happens. Who goes next? I hadn't thought beyond Umiar. I thought we'd have another episode or two until we had to make a decision again. Rita's second to last. Edmund or Carter, one of the two, is last. So it comes down to Simon and one of these two as competition. Which we don't have to figure out just yet. Okay. So, power cells, CPUs, and electronics. And there's no way to go and figure out what your inventory is. To know which one you need. So, that's where you just need to know your base. You need to know what supplies are already in stock. Although, I take back that little soapbox lecture there. I guess you could do that too. <laughs> anyway, I was going to say, we have plenty of all of them. So... I don't see us needing any more power cells. We're using CPUs to build the, uh, uh, the turrets. Electronics would probably be the right, right way to go. Takes five to build a battery. Okay. We'll go that route. It'll be dropping in here any moment, and we'll call this episode done. Yeah, we haven't really seen one of these land yet, or at least not specifically. It just kind of caught us by surprise a couple times. Three parachutes coming in. There we go. Okay, did I see somebody out here? No, Prince is out here. So Prince, you are undrafted. You can go wherever you want. Everybody else is pretty much gone to sleep. Um, this is now Edmund's bed. Will he get up? No. So he'll figure it out in the morning. Okay. Rita's there. And... I think that's it. Kind of a, a rainy night. First day of spring. First day of year four. And... Wow. Dawn is happening. 5 a.m. Okay. So with that, I think I'm going to call this one done. Thanks for watching, folks. And we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye now.